And the film is next on BBC Knowledge. Arrange marriages, corner shops, adultery, that kind of thing, yeah? We've got race, class, political commitment and a few jokes. <laughs> what more could you want? We mustn't deny each other experience. I think we can have a very good time, you know? Music by David Bowie. Words by Hanif Qureshi. Can you tell me how sex and politics fit together in that kind of way? The Buddha of suburbia returns to the screen. The more weirdness than you can imagine. All four parts in 48 hours, starting Friday at 9 on BBC Knowledge. The sharpest minds. What were the significant features of Freud's dreams? It's rather indiscreet to ask. The quickest wit. Are you trying to scourge us into reform? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm just trying to write books. Face to Face, 12 legendary episodes back to back, Monday from 8 on BBC Knowledge. So now on BBC Knowledge, life's tough on the streets and the language is strong in tonight's offering from Kena. Spend tomorrow evening with BBC Knowledge. At 8, In Search of Scotland examines the impact of industrialisation. At 8.30, Talking Landscapes is hunting for ancient civilizations in the Yorkshire Dales. At 9, In Travels with Pevsner, Joan Bakewell visits Derbyshire in the rocky heart of the English countryside. And at 9.50, Take a bird's eye view of nest building in the life of birds with David Attenborough. Experience the outdoors tomorrow from 8 with BBC Knowledge. Saturday at 7. Celebrate our finest hour with the real emotions of the Battle of Britain. I always had the feeling I was the worst part of Scotland. At 7.50, Decisive Weapons records an unsung hero. The hurricane was slower and less glamorous than the Spitfire, but her contribution to winning the battle was unrivaled. At 8.20, what if the RAF had been defeated? This is the German secret information handbook for the occupation of the British Isles. Remembering the Battle of Britain, Saturday from 7 on BBC Knowledge. His was an extraordinary life. So talented, he was second only to Louis Armstrong. So rich and famous, he was nicknamed the Tsar. So feared by Stalin, he was exiled to Siberia. His name, Eddie Rosner, his enduring tragedy, but you've probably never heard of him. Winner of an Emmy and a free Italia, Jazzman from the Gulag chronicles the astonishing life of a forgotten great. Monday at 10.30 on BBC Knowledge. They love the music and the dressing up, and a man from Halifax is spreading the word. Now on BBC Knowledge, Gilbert and Sullivan fans, you... All very hush-hush next on BBC Knowledge. Modern times on the trail of the private eyes. What were the significant features of Freud's dreams? Well, that is rather indiscreet to ask. The sharpest minds. I have devoted my whole life to writing poetry, and I'm not going to be taught by people who don't know anything about it. The quickest wit. Are you trying to scourge us into reform? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm just trying to write books. Twelve of the greatest names of the 20th century. A Negro child in Atlanta could not go to any public park. Twelve of the most celebrated interviews in broadcasting history. Well, did you then, in fact, have a feeling of guilt about sex? I don't think I had much occasion to, no. Well, until I reached the age of puberty, shall we say, everything couldn't have been happier. One special day. Is it true that you once fought Errol Flynn, or is that a newspaper story? There's no better way to get friends with a man than to have a fight with him. <laughs> Face to Face, 12 legendary episodes back to back, Monday from 8 on BBC Knowledge. Watching them, watching us, Modern Times, now on BBC Knowledge, joins the investigation.